Hello, ladies. Welcome to today's Tuesday tip. Today's tip is regarding everybody's favorite feature on their face that they always ignore, the eyebrow. Today, I'm gonna to give you a couple of tips about how to correctly groom and work your brows. So there's a few tools that you're going to need. Number one, you need a good brow brush. Number two, you need some of these. These are little scissors with rounded tips. You need a good brow palette. I highly recommend the Unique Brow Palette. And to apply your brow palette, you need a brush. This is the Unique Brow Artist Brush. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So last time I got my brows done, I learned something very interesting and very intriguing because I've been doing my brows wrong the entire time. So I was taught originally to bra brush your brows up and then trim them. No, no. This lady taught me you actually brush down. So we're gonna do that today. We are going to brush your natural brow down onto your face. So the goal here is to get any of those brows that are like a little too long. You're gonna take your small cuticle scissors. Now again, I highly recommend you get scissors that have a rounded tip so you don't cut your skin. <laughs> and we are going to trim just the long ones that don't look like they fit exactly. And we are gonna do just a quick trim like so. Sorry, did you even see that? I think I blocked it <laughs> with my mirror. Okay, and now we're going to bra brush upwards. And again, you wanna get any of those like super stray brows that just look a little wonky. Let me see. We're gonna go just above the line here. So any of them that are too long are being trimmed up. Voila, look at that. I already have a nice groomed brow. Okay, so that is one brow done. And we're gonna go over to this side and do the same activity. So we are gonna brush in a downward motion and trim any brows that look a little long and weird. So we're gonna go pretty much like along the hairline and be careful because you don't want to over trim. Okay, and then you're gonna go and do the opposite and brush upwards and you're gonna do the same thing. You wanna go with your natural brow arch or line and trim any of the long ones. Mine are looking pretty good. Now again, you don't wanna to go too deep because then you're gonna have like super short brows. Okay, and now you're gonna brush them into its natural position. Okay, look at that. So, so far we've trimmed and groomed our brows. Now we are going to take a brow palette and of course I'm gonna highlight Unique's brow, um, what is this one called? Brow Obsession Palette. This is, we have this in three different colors. This one is the color light. And I'm gonna use the Brow Artist, Artist Brush. This one has a angled end right there that you can see. And there's two different colors. I'm gonna do the light color because it's most matches my eyebrow, my natural eyebrow, and we're just gonna tap it into this shadow. And we are just gonna brush along the natural, the natural arch of my brow. Now, I've done this before and I've shown you guys, and I'll show you one more time, how to measure your brows correctly. You take any, sort of, any pencil, you go from your nostril straight up, and this is where your brow should start. You go move on an angle, this is where your arch should be. And then you go to the edge of your nose and cut over this way, and this is where it should end, like right there. So again, we're just gonna use powder to kind of fill in any gaps. And again, I'm just going like right along the natural part of my brow. Now this is where I have no brow, like my brow disappears at the end. So we're gonna do the lighter color here. And now there comes, they do like a dark shade as well in the palette. I'm gonna use a little bit of the dark shade to go right into the front part or the beginning part of the brow. So again, I'm just tapping very gently. And in this one, I'm gonna go just kind of straight up to kind of create that end. See how that like filled it in right there? And I'm gonna go right along the bottom here. So that is where you wanna use the darker one. All right, we're gonna move over to this brow over here. And because I already have dark on my brush, I'm gonna go ahead and do this side right here. So as you can see, like they totally don't look the same. But remember, brows are sisters, not twins, okay? Brows are sisters, not twins. They should not be identical. Everyone has two different brows, but this one here, 
I feel like in the front on my face is really undefined. So I'm gonna use a little bit of powder to try to create a better beginning. That's looking a little better. So again, I'm using the darkest shade in the palette, which is that one right there. And we're putting just a little bit on the angled brush. And again, we're just following like the regular shape of the brow. That looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna brush the heck of it out. So now I'm going to just use my hand to get rid of that dark one. I'm gonna go to the light color here, which is the light one. We're gonna put a little bit of that on. And again, you're just gonna brush into your brow along your natural brow shape. And even if you've over plucked in your ears, you still have like that natural brow shape that you should be able to easily fill in. Now I always have to do this though on this side. Okay, I got a little bit more to go here. But these palettes are so fun because they're so simple and it's a very, very natural look. And if you screw up, it's so easy to just kind of wipe it off. Okay. Now you can combine the two different colors as well to really make it look natural. All right, now I'm going to take, there's the other side of this brush, which is a flat end. And right here, I'm gonna go into the gel. And the gel is just gonna kinda help to set in your shadow and the shape of your brow. But I always have to use a brush afterwards to really fully like set it where I want. Hi, Shelly. Yes, sisters, not friends, exactly. Okay, so we are going to now take our brush. Remember, we need our brush in the beginning. And we're going to brush that into place. Now, I also learned that if you brush upwards, it gives you a more youthful appearance, so it's not like flat lined and harsh looking, but brushing them up gives you a more youthful appearance. There, that one looks a little dark. Of course, it's getting dark out. All right, now the last thing we're gonna do is we are going to highlight, oops, we are going to highlight right underneath the brow. And these awesome little palettes give you two different colors. You can either do gold or pink, whichever match it matches your skin tone. And for me, I'm gonna go with um, the yellow one, the more goldy one. I'm just brushing off my brush onto my hand. And this is more like a cream, almost like a cream shadow. And again, you wanna go right underneath your brow. And you're gonna brush that right in. So it really just gives a nice highlight. And then I always use my fingers. Your fingers are your best tool. All right, and right here, same thing. We are going right underneath and then brush it out with your finger. So there, now we've highlighted. And now some people really go crazy and they put like concealer and stuff to really outline. I don't do any of that. Okay, there we go. Brows, brows for days. All right, I hope you enjoyed your tip and I hope you learned a little something new. Got a groom and you got to brush on what you can't, um, or you need to accentuate what you are missing, okay? All right, thanks everyone. Let me know if you have any questions, um, especially about this, or we also have brow pencils, which are super simple and easy to use as well, where you would just color in your brows. Okay, have an awesome Tuesday, whatever you're doing. See you soon.